when it comes to Beatles conspiracies. Everybody knows Paul is dead. But have you heard that every member of the group died and was replaced, except for Paul McCartney? This is only the first of the weirdest Beatles conspiracies ever. Based on Mop Top album covers, Ringo died in 1963, for he was pictured out of line with his mates. George died the next year, as he was the only Beatle photographed with his back to the camera. The year after that, the fate of John is announced on the album Revolver, when the performer who replaced him sings, I'm only sleeping, meaning the big sleep. Thus was everyone except Paul replaced before the year 1966. Did the Beatles conspire to kill their original drummer, Pete Best? After their second set in an early appearance at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, the first drummer for the Beatles departed the stage to use the water closet. A man in the front row of the audience overhears John, Paul, and George discussing their plan to force Pete out of the band. The details of a murder plot are revealed in an unpublished memoir of Harrison's. Someone must be found to rig the drums of Pete Best to explode after the end of a show. Did the Illuminati create the Beatles? to corrupt the younger generation. The Committee of 300, founded by British aristocracy in the 18th century, and the British Tavistock Institute, the charity founded in 1947, whose real purpose is to engineer the world's culture, conspired together to influence United States media, to anoint the musical group as the new leader of youth culture, even before their invasion. At the same time, the Illuminati introduced subversive terms into the American vernacular. Teenager, cool, and rock. Were the Beatles just the pawns of the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi? The Beatles gave the Maharishi a platform to distribute his mantras. Mantras that called on the names of Hindu gods to the exclusion of Christ, according to the theory. Did not Jesus warn us to avoid repetitive prayer? Did not Lenin himself claim he was more popular than Christ? The hippies who desired revolution adopted instead East Indian spirituality. After they broke up, did the Beatles secretly resurface as the Canadian progressive rock band, Klaatu? The vocals sounded like Lennon and McCartney. The vinyl was released under the Capitol Records label, as was that of the Beatles. The Klaatu album liner notes gave no credits for songwriters, no names of the members of the band, and no pictures of them. The name Klaatu was taken from the science fiction movie The Day the Earth Stood Still. On a Ringo Starr album, the ex-Beatle is seen coming out of the spaceship from that movie. In the Klaatu song, Sub Rosa Subway, Morse code is woven into the fabric of the music. The code has been translated as, The Bugs Are Back. Or did the Beatles secretly regroup as the Ramones? John Lennon, growing tired of his establishment persona, also grew longer hair and assumed quietly the role of bass player for the Ramones. 
after getting plastic surgery, George Harrison stood six foot six, and he sang under the name of Joey. This explains how the Ramones were able to produce an uninterrupted string of chart-topping hit songs right up until the death of John Lennon. Perhaps the most bizarre of the Beatles' conspiracies was the claim by James Richards that the Beatles never actually broke up. It is also the only theory supported by physical evidence. While walking his dog in a California desert, Richards caught his foot in a rabbit hole. He tripped and was knocked unconscious. When he awoke, he found both himself and his dog had been transported to an alternate Earth. On that world, the Beatles had never split up, and they were still making music together. There, James Richards stole a cassette tape on which was recorded a new Beatles album. When he returned from that dimension, he brought with him the tape of unknown Beatles songs, which can now be found on the internet and it may be freely downloaded. Last off for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud. Space Angel, in the story of The Rescue Mission. Lieutenant, we have a mayday from Survey 2 on the interstellar frequency. Get the position. I'll notify Master Control. I just heard that Survey 2 is down. That's right, Professor. Chief, Scott, crystals on that ship. We are getting a signal from them. They are all alive. Landing not too severe. Gravity reads 5.5 G's. Well, five and a half times that of Earth. Remember, they need additional boosters to get off Jupiter. And there are no boosters on Prometheus. Chief, Dart 2 could get in and out of there. We have 10 million pounds of thrust and very little weight. Don't miss the next exciting episode with Scott McCloud, Space Angel.